I'm going to be doing my weekly Saturday cage clean. Um, I'm not going to be talking a whole lot through this, but I thought I'd just kind of let you guys see what all I do on a Saturday to clean the cage. So hopefully you guys can see pretty much the whole cage. My little fleece forest is right here, just the litter box is underneath, so that's what's there. But yeah, this is the cage, and it's a bit of a mess right now. This morning I gave the guinea pigs a big pile of hay to play in, so it's just like hay crumbs everywhere now. A terrible mess. So we're going to have a lot of work on our hands, and you guys need more water. So we're going to be cleaning all your dishes and your bottles. So, got a lot of work ahead of us, but I thought I'd get started and show you guys what all I do. So first things first, what I do is I tend to take out all their accessories um, and put any wet pee pads and stuff in my bag of washing. Take to the laundry mat and then, yeah, that's what I do for my first step. be wondering what all of this here is about that's because I actually didn't permanently attach my liners yet i am been kind of testing my cage to see if I actually liked it like this and I definitely do so I'm gonna be trying to cap proof it and if that seems to go well then I'm going to permanently attach my liners but I didn't want to cut anything so I was sure
Now that that's all nice and clean, I'm going to pick out some fleece. Okay. I picked the pink unicorn fleece. I'm looking about buying some towels to put underneath the fleece because I know that adds to the absorption. I kind of use a lot of pee pads and stuff like that, so I find that my fleece doesn't get real wet. <laughs> but, however, I still kind of like to know I'm getting enough absorption underneath. As a dry cage is one of the most important things. The game takes health because obviously no one wants to be living on their own pee. The moisture can make guinea pigs sick. And we do not want that, do we girls? It's a shame because cage liners to buy, pre-made and everything, are so expensive. So, I'll be trying to find some cheap towels I can put underneath the fleece. To kind of add to the layer, or get some U-Haul. It's a shame we actually have some, but kind of got dirty in the garage, so that's not really clean enough. I don't think I trust using it in with the guinea pigs. Plus, we use it when we're working on the tractors and stuff, so kind of need it. <laughs> there we go. So that's that. Now, I'm going to get some pee pads out. Oh, I'm going to take down. Watch out, Missy! <laughs> don't want to get you mushed. No. Okay. I have this new pee pad, which actually I think the underside that doesn't have the lemons on, but actually it's a really nice blue. I think it'll match very nicely, actually. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to use these round beds here. Oh, yeah, and I have my yellow pad as well. As well as this little fleece here, I think I'll use. Okay, so I think just take that to ease this fleece down a little bit. Let's see, get off. Like that. Looks okay. There we go. Put that there. And I think that will put right here. And then this. Let me put one there and then one here. You guys like that? <laughs> now I think for the pig loos, put the blue pig loo right there. The one, two, 
three hiding areas. You need at least one more. Let me put the little lemon house. Doesn't match perfectly, but that'll work. Put the little mat inside. So this is the cage all clean. They already managed to make a mess. They got their willow stick tunnel. Oh! Their pig glue. Some cute unicorn fleece. Jeez, it got dark up here. Then they got this little house and I made this unicorn little hiding area over top of this litter box. Not an official fleece forest yet, but might become one soon. So yeah, right now I have their little hay rack on here because while I'm at work, sometimes they pee over their hay and I found that um, they really like if I put some in their little hay rack. That way when they're eating and stuff from the hay in here, if it gets too dirty, they do have like a backup source that they can kind of go to. This is a personal preference I like to do. But yeah, so that is the cage. I'll give you guys kind of a better overview what it looks like so I think that turned out pretty good so thank you guys for coming along to watch me clean the cage and that wasn't anything super exciting but I thought it'd be kind of fun just to let you guys see what I do on Saturday as far as cage cleaning goes so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys soon bye